Okay, just going to do an update video here on NIO and Tesla. Um, in my last video, you know, I was talking about how they could both potentially uh, be bullish. Um, Tesla ended up fading back down, consolidated for about a week and a half here, and is now starting to see some movement back to the upside. Uh, so here on NIO, I think the the big thing to look at is this three dollar uh, resistance. So this has been the big one that we haven't been able to pop through uh, for a good period of time now. I'm currently on the 20 day hourly chart. You can see the last time that we came up here, we popped above it by a few cents early in the morning and then sold off, and then we ended up coming down, uh, you know, roughly 12 percent. Um, with the lows being down here around 17%. Um, so a significant decline from hitting that $3 mark. And you know, the big question is, are we going to see something like that again? Or is this going to be the time that we close in on $3 and we actually break above it? Um, so, you know, only time will tell, but we can come up with a good strategy here on what we want to see with NIO. So obviously anywhere from this uh, 290 mark right in here, that's going to be a resistance. And uh, you, we, you can see we're only a couple cents away. After hours brought us up a little bit more. So this will be interesting into the morning hours to see if we can push through this level and maybe creep on up here close to three. Uh, you can see we had a good, good chunk of momentum up over eight percent today roughly eight and a half percent today and um you know this is big for nio uh, there was uh the article that came out about nio having to recall thousands of vehicles due to fires occurring uh within the batteries and burning the cars um so uh, and that that really didn't play to the the downside all that much it didn't really hurt nio that much i guess it really didn't have a whole lot more to to break to the downside, um, obviously it could go to zero, uh, but people still see it as a decent investment at this point. Um, as you can see, we're sitting here at 288, not, a, not an amazing investment, but still a decent one. Um, so support or, uh, resistance here at the 290 mark, next resistance obviously going to be here at three, and we wanna see it hold three. Obviously last time that we came up on the $3 mark, we didn't hold it, uh, so we really want to see it hold maybe after today's gains, maybe see some sort of consolidation before seeing a surge up so that we know that there's a good chunk of buyers that are already in place. Um, and, you know, we might form some sort of good support if it were to come back down, maybe see a bounce and then push higher. Um, but if tomorrow we see it hit this 290 mark or maybe even pop to three and then we sell back down, we want to see the 280 level hold. It's not a very strong support, but it is a support. Um, you can see it acted as a resistance back here, acted as a support back here, resistance here, a little bit of a support here. Um, and this is the first time in about a week and a half that we've actually seen us trading at this level. So we want to see that hold. The next big one, if we do come back to the downside, is going to be right around here, around the 268 level, roughly. Um, so that is what we're going to want to see hold. You can see it acted as a resistance for a good chunk of time in this little trading uh, zone or consolidation. Um, uh, so we want to see it hold that for sure. If we were to come back down and just break right through it, that wouldn't really be a good sign here on NIO. Uh, and then if we do break down below it, definitely do not want to see us break this low right here, right around this uh, 248 just call it 250 level uh, again with the penny stocks do 50 and uh, dollar increment levels are usually support and resistance lines um, but don't want to see it break that and then we definitely do not want to see it make new lows if we were to come back down that far that would be a significant drop here on nio to move all the way down you're talking another 17 percent to the downside um, so just play it smart um, we, we want to see a move above three, but we don't want to see it fade that three mark uh, really quick. 
Uh, and one more thing here on NIO. Let's just look at the weekly. Obviously, this thing hasn't been trading for three years, but let's look at the weekly chart. Uh, so you can see, uh, let's try and get rid of some of these lines here. Um, you can see that we are nearing this nine day moving average, okay? And we haven't traded above that moving average in a very long time here. You can see uh, it hasn't even been this year uh, that we've, or excuse me, it has been this year, um, but it hasn't been since March that we've traded above this moving average. And every time that we've come close, it's been a resistance. Every time that we've hit it, shows signs that we're curling back up, we sell back down. So that is something definitely to keep in mind. We're nearing that $3 resistance. We're also nearing this uh, resistance here with the nine day moving average. So keep that in mind when you're trading um, that if you know we hit it and we start to see some some signs of shakiness, we could come back down. Um, but if on the flip side, you know, if we were to break through it, that would be a really good sign here on NIO that we might be seeing a new trend starting to form uh, to the upside that could show some good potential to move us back up, maybe even to say the $4 mark, which is about a, a 30, uh, 30 to 40% gain there on NIO. Uh, so that would be a good sign. You can kind of see we're not as steep to the downside um, as we have been recently. So, uh, you know, a break to the upside here on this nine day moving average and a hold above it uh, would be a good sign. You can also see that we are not oversold here on NIO anymore which is a good sign because it's been, you know, roughly uh, a month to a month and a half that we have been oversold here on NIO. Uh, so just keep all of that in mind. Um, this, this is being a big resistance, nine day moving average, the $3 mark, both big resistances, but if we pop through, very good sign here on NIO. But again, on the downside, let's look at, uh, um, those levels that we had so this 280 mark right in here um, and then the 268 the 250 and then our all-time lows here at 230 to 232 right in there uh, so let's go ahead and move it on over to Tesla big news here on Tesla um, at beating the Wall Street expectations for the deliveries by roughly 3,000 cars um, pushing us way higher and, uh, you know, the markets, I don't know if they were expecting it. Uh, let me move it into the, the, the yearly chart. Okay, so here's our one year, one day. So here you have this long downward trend ever since we had these highs back here in, uh, in November, moving into December. Um, these were our highs, and then we had this downward trend. And you can see right in here, we had a lot of trading going on, never really a pop. But we had a lot of trading going on. I think it washed out a lot of the shorts in that time. We never saw a pop, an extreme pop above. Um, but I think we washed out a lot of shorts. And eventually, you know, this was a very nice consolidation right in here. Anywhere from 220 uh, to the 230. Uh, so this is a little trading range for about a, a week to two weeks. Um, and after these, uh, you know, this delivery... Uh, that has beaten expectations we have moved up and now after hours which isn't shown here on the uh, yearly chart we are trading up here at the 240 mark um, so this is big here on NIO it looks as if we're forming now a new upward trend um, so this is big I'm going to go ahead and move it into uh, an hourly uh, actually let's go to the four hours we'll still keep it a little bit broad um, so you can see here's our trading ranges. We were approaching that downtrend. Uh, you can see we hit it, traded down, traded down, traded down. Then we ended up having anywhere from this uh, 220 mark uh, to 230 mark, which I had marked as a resistance line. Um, and we had we had hit it one more time here, um, then came back down. Obviously, you can see here uh, this was the after hours trading today, up over six percent, I believe, after hours. Um, but th that's just huge here on Tesla. So this really could be the start of a new trend to the upside, um, but we still need to pay attention to it uh, very closely. Um, 
so again here here's the 230 level um, and now we see the break so what are we going to look at moving forward um, we're gonna move it back out to the four hour chart so moving forward you can see this this uh, the 260 level I had marked as a resistance more being a long-term resistance um, but we could get there within the next couple weeks if, if Tesla now uh, showing good signs with those deliveries um, more buyers might be willing to step in now um, and we might be able to move this price up to 260 within the coming weeks um, but if we do move back down we definitely want to see this 230 level hold you can see how many times I mean we came close hit it here came close again hit it here so this is a uh, support line now now that we have broken through it but uh, you know again if we were to break the 230 level coming back down maybe we back test this trend line uh, more clearly and then see a rally um, or you know we come down here to say this 210 mark or this 220 mark uh, oop, I missed that one hold on let's get it a little bit tighter so right around here uh, just because we had so much trading in here you wouldn't want to see this price come down and just wipe out all of this trading uh, you know this is a nice range that we had in here a lot of back and forth so if we were to come down and see it's just sweep through that I don't think it would be a really good sign here on Tesla um, but it, you know if we could see it, it come down consolidate and then bounce off of either 230 to 20 uh, that would be good but if we were to see a continual uh, movement to the downside uh, you know that, that would not be a good sign here on Tesla so I'd like to see this you know bring in some more buyers now that we've seen some good news uh, maybe some uh, some good potential here in Tesla again bringing in some new buyers uh, that were maybe a little skeptical back here after such a big decline uh, are now a little bit more inclined to purchase some shares of Tesla put it in their portfolio and maybe want to see the 260 level uh, and moving moving higher up to say maybe the 290 level um, so again these are long-term uh, resistance lines obviously we're not going to see these huge jumps uh, in, in just one day although we could we could never rule out anything but I don't necessarily see that occurring that we would hit 260 or 290 say within this week or even next um, but uh, you know we'll, we'll just have to see uh, what what uh, the future holds uh, so all, all we can do right now is set up a good trading um, strategy that uh, we can possibly play out so let's mark um, now that I'm looking at it a little bit closer let's also mark this right in here so right where we're trading right around this 240 level as a resistance now we did pop through we did hit this uh, 245 almost here on Tesla after hours but as the morning rolls around let's see if we hold it um, you know sometimes when we see this good news on Tesla people who bought it are just buying it for the quick little up movement uh, just kind of a gamble um, and then they sell off in the morning uh, so if it does sell off you know let's see us hold the 230 level uh, I don't think it will drop that low I don't think we'll fade all of these um, all of these gains here uh, but we could um, so you know maybe this this wick right here right around this 235 mark uh, might show some signs of support you can see it was kind of right in here around 233 uh, so you know you just got to pay attention it's going to be erratic tomorrow as my guess I know uh, we are closing in on a holiday with it being July 4th so there might not be as much volume um, might might not see super erratic moves um, but there is still the potential for it uh, so let's keep in mind that we're currently sitting here on a resistance want to see it push through that maybe move up to 260 in the coming weeks uh, but on the downside 230 to 20 once we get maybe down to 220 uh, we might need to reevaluate this might not be as good of a buy or long-term hold as it currently shows um, and we can also throw in now that we uh, have seen some movement let's throw in this upward trend um, so maybe we also see it bounce off this upward trend now that we have two points that we could 
uh, mark here on this upward trend. Uh, so again, you know, this is just my personal analysis on uh, Tesla and NIO. So just make make your own. Hopefully these uh, videos help you to analyze uh, stocks and see levels. Um, but make sure you come up with your own trading strategy before entering a trade so that you can limit the amount of emotion that you have uh, and you, you, you already have a plan. You know where you're going to get stopped out. You know what your target levels are. Um, so just keep all of that in mind. But again, I hope this video helped you out. Um, so uh, thank you guys for watching as always. And I hope you have a, a great day. And I hope you end this week um, with some gains in your portfolio. So thanks for watching this.